Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, on which will depend on your location. Please join in the struggle to liberate our people from the contraption. Like and share videos. Today is Tuesday. I for market. I bring you the update. Come, let us reason with you. We are ready to listen now. Aneze calls on Simon Eba. Now, the Aneze Ndibo, the Apex Ibo Social Culture Organization, led by Chief Emmanuel Iwanyo, has called on the leader of the or the Biafran Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile, Mazi Simon Eba, to come and reason with them. He said, come, let us discuss this issue. I will sit at home. Yes, the Honese President General decried the impact of the sit at home in the entire Southeast. While calling on the, the military, the law enforcement agents, the armed forces, to be careful in the way they carry out their activities in the Eastern region particularly in this city at home. Of course, Emmanuel Iwanya was said that, look, that the degree of prudence that the military should be exercised, the highest degree of prudence in the discharge of their official duties. He said this is to avoid further loss of innocent lives in Nebo land. Now, let me quote part of his statement. I quote, It is indeed very disheartening that the people of southeast of Nigeria are being subjected to hardships by the incessant call for sit at home. Unfortunately, several non state actors, in an attempt to enforce the order, have unleashed mayhem on the people. As a result, several people have been killed and maimed, and properties worth millions of never have been destroyed, in addition to the sit at home order, has been instilling fears and trepidation in the good people of the Southeast, making it difficult for people to come out to transact their lawful businesses on the sit-at-home days. The Southeast is noted for micro, small and medium-scale enterprises, indigenous manufacturing, fabrication and agro-allied industries. To this end, several authorities have put the losses encountered but the people of the Southeast are trillions of Naira on each seat at seat at home day. The Southeast has witnessed the loss of clients and customers who find alternatives because of the unstable business environment in the Southeast. The food transporters to the Southeast charge more for a trip to the Southeast because of these seat at home orders. Furthermore, insecurity and unknown gunmen have been on the increase because of the seat at home order. Worse still, over 250 persons are estimated to have lost their lives through the enforcement of the sit at home order. It is evident that the series of sit at home orders is affecting the social and economic life of the Igbos. Surely, it is not to the advantage of the Igbos. Based on the above backdrop, I, Chief Dr. Emmanuel Iwanyang, the President General of Honest and Igbo, worldwide hereby direct that. The seat at home in Igbo land should be discountenanced. I therefore urge all the sons and daughters of Igbo land to go about their lawful businesses. As a father, I hereby request Mr. Simon Eba and his group for a discussion and an opportunity to air their grievances. I urge the security operatives to exercise the highest degree of prudence in the discharge of their official duties to avoid further loss of innocent lives in Igbo land. End of quote. This is Iwanyawu's statement. And what are we saying? This is beating around the bush. Ohaneze, we thought you know what you are saying. Please wake up from your deep slumber. Stop deceiving yourself. You have seen the bed. And you're asking the bed where the bird's mouth is. Where the bed used to eat. Where is the mouth of the bed? Where he used to eat. Well, you have seen the bed, I have seen everything, you have seen the mouth. So what is the essence of this? You ask someone to come back and discuss with you here in Nigeria or in Finland. So we don't even know whether the owners they want to travel to Finland to go and have discussion with him over there. Or they want to have a neutral ground, a neutral country, you know, in Europe or Asia, where they will have this discussion or America. Okay? Or they want someone to come back home to discuss with him. We don't even know what they want, actually. It's obvious you have known what is causing it at home. Go and stop it. You won't do it. You want someone to come back and have discussion with you to tell you his grievances. 
The man has said it point blank. He has said it openly. That there's nothing he had with against against anybody. After all, what he's doing is, you know, to protect the interests of the southeast. Why? Because the leader of the IPOB, Mazin Amdokano, who has, you know, been shown during that responsibility of speaking for the southeastern. Since those who call themselves state actors, the so-called state actors, politicians, over the years have disappointed the people of southeast zone. The zone is in abject poverty. The zone has been left in ruins. Nothing is working other than the self-help of the boss. The businessmen, business mogul, international businessmen, local businessmen in Onesha, in Abai, in Oka, in Newe, in Lagos, in Kano, in Kaduna, those who are helping to bring infrastructure back home. Otherwise, those who call themselves politicians, including the they have destroyed the satisfaction. Money is meant for this zone. They have looted it. They have taken contracts, have eaten the money. They did not execute any. And then, coupled with the marginalization of the federal government, the central government of Nigeria, since the war ended, they have been marginalizing the zone in everything, in every aspect. You see, when you see the, the inequality, yes, the imbalance in the distribution of amenities and everything, it's obvious. And now, the, the man who is speaking on behalf of the Igbos has been abducted from Kenya and is uh, in rendition and is suffering and they are torturing him and they, they don't want to release him after court have said they release him. And the Simon Ekba is telling you to release him, to release the leader of the Igbos. Yes, he is the leader of the Igbos. He is the Khan, you see. So Ekba is saying, release him. That's what he's saying. And you have heard him louder, very loud and clear. And you're not asking him to come back and tell you his grievances. To his, what, what do you think? So you are, you are talking to a small child to come back and tell you his grievances. So if you won't go and tell your government, your Tinubu, since your Buhari failed you to release Masinano Kano, now what you are saying is what you want, what you desire. All the five governors inside is you don't have the capacity to put up a strong you know, demand. We have senators, up, up to 15 senators. We have House of Member, House of Rep members. There are more than 20. Yes. We have House of, uh, you know, those in the state assemblies. Their number is countless. And we have men of timber and caliber. We have businessmen who deal with the federal government and everything. So what are you doing? Go and release my cinema and you have the capacity, but you don't want to do it. Yes? And so you are here crying wolf, crying blue mother. You are shedding crocodile tears. That's the point. Yes. So the international community should understand this. They said the economy has been destroyed because of this. And they are the ones causing it. These political actors, or these so called state actors, political leaders in the southeast. They are collaborating with the federal government to destroy the zone. So if anything happened to the zone, they should be held responsible. If there's no business, they should be held responsible. It is not ever. Hold the political leaders responsible. Hold the governors responsible. They should know what, you know, what happened, what they would do, and everything will stop. But they fail to do it. And that is it. So that is the situation. And that is it. Bele, and done, sorry. Sit at home continues.